Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another YouTube video. So in this YouTube video, I'm going to be showing you the best Counter-Strike 2 settings and just general stuff within Steam and Windows that you could disable slash enable just to get better performance in your game. So pretty much all we're going to go through is first of all, we're going to go through our Steam settings and then we're going to jump in game, do some things in there, and then we're going to go within Windows slash your GPU's control panel and configure some stuff in there. So without further ado, let's get right into how to basically set up steam for almost all of your gameplay and make it use less system resources while you're playing so all we're going to do is we're going to open up steam and once you have steam open you're going to click steam at the top left click settings go to friends and chat we're going to disable enable animated avatars and animated avatar frames in your friends list and chat we're going to go to interface and we're going to basically turn off everything under scale text and icons to match monitor settings everything under that you're going to turn off just like how I have it right here. And we're going to go to library on the left and low bandwidth mode. Turn that on low performance mode. Turn that on and disable community content. Turn that on. Now we're going to go to in game. Make sure the overlay is turned off and then we're going to go to remote play and you can disable enable remote play and we're going to go to broadcast and you can disable broadcasting. So that's pretty much it for the steam settings. And now I'm going to head over to basically the CS2 best configuration and and settings. All right. So once you have CS2 open, all we're going to do is go to the gear icon at the top and you're going to go straight to video. And first things first, you want to set display mode, obviously to full screen, and then make sure it the refresh rate is set to your Hertz and same thing with resolution and then press apply changes. And now I want to go to advanced video and pretty much everything in here, you're going to set to low. Again, this game is a competitive game. Whenever we play competitive games, we just set everything to low just because we want the highest frame rate and the best input lag. All right, so basically we're going to set everything to low and fidelity FX super resolution. You're going to set this to disable just so your character doesn't look all blurry and stuff. And you could pretty, if you're on a bad PC, you could obviously set this to balanced or quality. And what this does is basically it renders the stuff at a reduced resolution and basically upscales it. it helps with FPS, but it might introduce some input lag. So I'm just going to leave it disabled and NVIDIA reflex or latency, just keep this enabled. Everything else, none or low and vertical sync disabled all right everyone so basically once you've done all the video settings in video and in advanced video we're going to go to basically the game settings and we're going to scroll up and we're going to find allow animated avatars make sure you set this to no and this is just to have the avatar within the steam not animated it's probably distracting and it's probably taking up performance so we're just going to set this to no and then scroll all the way back up and then enable developer console make sure you turn this to yes we're going to be sending some information in the developer console using this key that i'm going to pop up right here so this key that i'm showing right here this is to open up the developer console while you're in game to do these commands that I'm going to run through right now. So I'm going to leave these commands in the description, but the first one is going to be to show our FPS and that is going to be the CL underscore show FPS one. You're just going to find that in the video and then copy paste it into here and it will show you your FPS on the top left. Now we're going to uncap our FPS just because the game caps our FPS. So we're going to go to the second command in the description and run that. Now, after you've done that, that's pretty much it for the CS2 in game settings. There's not much else you can do in here that is really important. So, with that being said, we're going to move on to basically the window settings, slash, just one other thing that you could do in the launch options for this game that actually should help you if you're on an AMD GPU or another GPU that is just not as good as a NVIDIA GPU. So, that being said, let's move on to this launch option and explain some more information about what this launch option actually does. All right, so once you're back in Steam, all we're going to do is right click on Counter Strike to click properties and before we do anything with it, the launch options you're just going to go to dlc and uncheck anything here same thing with the workshop if you have anything in here just press unsubscribe these could be like old maps or just maps that you don't need anymore just make sure you do that and make sure you uncheck any dlcs and for installed files you want to make sure your cs2 is on your ssd if it's not on your ssd it's going to boot up a lot slower and it's just going to perform worse just because hard drives are really slow so anyways we're going to go to general launch options this is where we're going to be putting this command 
needed if you are on a AMD GPU or a, another GPU that is not NVIDIA. So what this is going to do, this is called Vulkan and it's a completely different API than DX11. So by default, DX11 is being used in Counter-Strike 2. This makes it so it changes to Vulkan. So think of this as DX11 or DX12, but we're actually going to be switching to Vulkan. And for a lot of people, this might help your FPS in terms of stability, but your average FPS might be a little bit lower. So that's the whole point of using that. So definitely want to test this out if you're on an AMD graphics card, just because AMD is a little bit behind when it comes to DX11 and NVIDIA is going to be better in that situation. But that's going to be the only launch option that actually would make sense to apply in this game. There is another launch option called high, but this sets your game to high priority. This doesn't really benefit you. Honestly, it might cause some issues. So I highly recommend just using this if you are on an AMD GPU or anything other than an NVIDIA GPU. But in my case, I'm on a NVIDIA GPU, so there is no need to do this. So again, I'm going to close out of this and now I'm going to move on to the Windows settings. So the Windows settings are pretty straightforward. All we're going to do is press our Windows key and I. We're going to head over to gaming. We're going to turn off the Xbox game bar. This is horrible. Never turn this on. Game mode, you want to test on and off with this. This honestly depends on your CPU. For a lot of people, it's going to be good if you're on a quad core, but for six cores and above, you might want to consider turning this off and it might lead you better results in game. But again, Xbox game bar, turn that off and game mode, turn that off depending on your CPU. I'm going to head over back to home, go to privacy. Everything in here, you could pretty much disable, including background apps. I'm going to go back to home. We're going to go to apps, go to startup and anything in here that you do not need, I would disable it. Highly, highly recommend to disable it just because you don't want stuff running in the background on the bottom right of your taskbar that can hurt your gameplay. So that could be mouse software, keyboard software, apps and features go in there and just uninstall anything that you don't need in here. I'm going to go back to home. I'm going to go to system. I'm going to scroll the way down, go to graphics settings, turn off hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. And if you're on Windows 11, turn on optimizations for windowed game. Now go back and we're going to go to advanced display settings, go to display one and make sure your refresh rate is set to the highest refresh rate possible. And if you want your refresh rate to be a single integer without any decimals, you can follow my complete monitor optimization guide. Link is in the description where I show you how to change this hertz number to exactly what your hertz should be. So previously before I did this fix, this would say 143.9. I made it so it's 144. And this should just help with in-game stability just because whenever you're capping at 144, aka your monitor's refresh rate, it's going to be smoother rather than having 1439 on your display. So we're going to go back, we're going to go to notifications and actions, turn all this off. It's all garbage. Go to sounds, go to sound control panel, head over to playback and any of these speakers go in there and then go to enhancements and check disable all enhancements. Press apply and then press OK. And you just want to do that for all of your speakers just to make sure that they're not taking any extra system resources. And again, if you have any extra speakers in here that you do not use, you could just disable them like how I have it disabled. Now we're going to go to power and sleep. This is really, really important. This is where you can maximize a lot of your performance. So we're going to go to power and sleep, click additional power settings. Make sure you are using high performance power plan or the ultimate performance power plan, or you can use a custom power plan. But for me, I'm using a custom power plan, so I'm not going to be using high performance or ultimate performance. Now I'm going to close out of this storage, go there, turn off storage sense. If you have this enabled, same thing with shared experiences and same thing with remote desktop. Now we'll go back to home. We're going to go to network and internet. We're going to click change adapter options and we're going to double click on ethernet two and we're going to go to properties and we're going to uncheck everything in here except internet protocol version four and QoS package scheduler. And once you've done that, you can just press okay and make sure in here that speed says 1.0 GPS. This is not a network guide on how to fix this, but if this says anything lower than that, you might want to look into updating your ethernet adapter or following my network guide where I show you the possible fixes for it and that type of stuff. But this video is not that. So make sure this is set to 1.0 GPS. Press close, close out of this. And now we're going to head over back to home and we're going to go to personalization, go to colors, make sure transparency effects is turned off. Now we're going to exit out of this and now we're going to head over to the NVIDIA control panel where we can do some extra settings in there that will help in almost all of your games. We're going to open up NVIDIA control panel. We're going to click the home button and we're going to go to adjust image settings with preview. And before we do anything, you want to make sure you're on the latest GPU drivers in order to play CS2. CS2 is a new game. So what happens with new games is newer drivers come out that are optimized for that game. So make sure you're on the latest drivers. And again, I wouldn't really recommend updating a driver every time a new one comes out, only update it if a game needs a newer driver. So in this case, it's perfectly fine to update your GPU driver. So once you've updated it, you're just going to go back to NVIDIA control panel and we're going to go to manage 3D settings. And basically we're going to copy these settings that you have. I have 
have down here. So anisotropic filtering, turn that off. And then everything here, you could turn it to off. And then scroll down, low latency mode, turn that on. And then OPN GL rendering GPU, you could just set that to your GPU and then press apply. And I'm gonna scroll down, prefer maximum performance, highest available for refresh rate, shader cache size unlimited, and then texture filtering quality set to high performance. Threaded optimization, this is an interesting one. If your GPU is better than your CPU, keep this on. If your CPU is overpowering your GPU, you could pretty much turn this off. But that's pretty much it for this part. We're gonna go to change resolution, and this is just for basically your monitor's visuals. You're gonna click on your monitor, click use NVIDIA color settings, make sure that output dynamic range is set to full. Now, we're gonna go to adjust that stop size and position, if you don't use this fresh resolution, you can set this to no scaling and then press apply on the bottom right. That's pretty much it for the NVIDIA settings. Now I'm going to leave a screenshot of the best AMD control panel settings and they're going to be right here. But I recommend watching my AMD full optimization guide on my YouTube just because that goes way more in depth and shows you the capabilities of your AMD GPU just because most of the things that are going on with the AMD GPU can be fixed just with that video. So follow that as soon as possible if you're on an AMD GPU. All right, everyone. So one last thing that we could do just to get a snappier mouse and just a more responsive mouse and less driver mouse latency is to run this registry key right here so go to the link in the description and download this and it's pretty simple how we're going to apply this all you got to do is just double click on it press yes and then press ok and then restart your computer and that should just help with your mouse snappiness and responsiveness and this is really important in games like cs2 and valorant but other than that, guys, that's going to be pretty much it for this CS2 optimization guide. If you enjoyed this, leave a like and subscribe. And if you're still not getting the FPS that you want and you feel like you should be getting a lot more and you should be getting lower latency, head over to the link in the description and book an optimization with me. I will go through and optimize basically almost everything in your PC, including BIOS, which is where we can unlock almost most of your performance. So head over there and book an optimization. I've worked with people like Booga and basically every top professional player in the I seen. And if you want a PC completely custom built for you, optimized for you, and stress tested for you so you have no hassle while playing your games, head over to the second link in description and purchase a PC directly from me where I custom build it, optimize it, and ship it directly to your house. So all you have to do is just install your games and start gaming. But other than that, that's going to be pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one.